Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're going to be covering importing our GOG games into LaunchBox and BigBox. I'm a big fan of GOG, given that we have DRM-free content, but uh, unfortunately, it is a bit lacking in the games department, given that these bigger publishers always want DRM, and GOG just won't stand for it. But either way you look at it, there are still some really awesome gems over here. Now, getting these imported into LaunchBox is pretty simple. And uh, to install my GOG games, I always use GOG Galaxy. I have four installed on this PC right now. They're actually on a separate drive, but a LaunchBox can automatically find that for me. But there are a couple steps you need to take when importing to do this correctly. So let's go ahead and start this up. From the drop down, we're going to head to Tools, Import, GOG Games. It's going to open up the GOG import wizard. I recommend reading through everything here, but we're going to choose next. From here, we need to do two things. First one being, we need to change our privacy settings on our GOG account. And there's a little link right here. If we click on this, it's going to open up a web browser. We want to find your full games library can be seen by anyone or all visitors. Only me, GOG friends, GOG.com users will not work. We need all visitors in order for LaunchBox to see which games we own with GOG. So mine's already ready to go here, and you can use that link. Next thing we need to do is put in our correct GOG profile name. It needs to be spelled correctly. Once we have these two steps done, we'll choose Next. I like to prioritize GOG metadata. And just like with importing anything in the launch box, from here we can check or uncheck any artwork we don't want to be downloaded. But uh, right here I just usually check all. Next, would you like to specify any custom options? The only thing I leave here is look for PDF files. So we'll go with next, and it's going to find my GOG games. Now, like we saw at the beginning, in GOG Galaxy I only have four games installed, and LaunchBox automatically found that for me. So these are the ones I have installed, and they're automatically checked for import. If you want to check everything, you can. But keep in mind, I mean, if you click on it in LaunchBox and it's not installed, it's not going to do anything. You don't need to import anything, so you probably won't even be importing these. Check installed. We'll select all of the games we have installed on this specific PC. And if for some reason LaunchBox does not find the directory you have your GOG games installed in, we can scan directory for games, and this will just open up a browser. You can navigate to where those games are located and scan from there. But for this one here, it looks good to go. Got those four games. I'll choose Finish. And with the newer versions of LaunchBox, it's going to go ahead and download that metadata for us first, get the games imported, and now it's going to start downloading that artwork in the background for us. So if we want to start playing, we could do it right now. And as you can see, it has imported my GOG games, and we have that little GOG logo right here. So these are actually ready to go. If I want to start Fallout before everything's finished downloading, I can actually do that. It's going to go ahead and start the game up. Now there's one last setting that we can mess around with. As you see, Fallout is in windowed mode, and this is something we will need to take care of inside of the game itself. But it also launched GOG Galaxy because I have this prioritized to try to launch those games through GOG Galaxy. But as we know, since these are DRM free games, we actually don't even need this to be launched. Head back to LaunchBox. From the drop down, we're going to go to Tools, Options. Over here in the left hand column, Integrations, GOG, and Launch Games Through GOG Galaxy. If you do not want to launch them through GOG Galaxy, uncheck this. We'll choose OK. That way we don't even need to mess around with another launcher. And I'll go back to Fallout. And it's just going to launch that EXE for me. No Galaxy is required now. There we have it. So it didn't even have to get GOG Galaxy up and running for us. And if I choose Exit, it'll give me that Game Over screen and bring us directly back into LaunchBox. That's going to wrap it up for this one. As you saw, it's really easy to import your GOG games in a launch box and big box. The main thing that needs to be noted here is your privacy settings need to be changed in your GOG account. Your full game library needs to be able to be viewed by all visitors, and that's really it. I hope this helped you out in getting your games imported into launch box and big box, but that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.